What's going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and today I bring you 10 hours of aerial fishing. So I like to use the fairy ring code DJR to the chasm of fire and once I arrive here I just run southwest until I hit the dock. Once here I then board the Bodhi to none other than Mulk Island. Arriving here for the first time I quickly gather 10 king worms to use for my starting bait and after I get 10 of them I talk to Alri the angler and he is the one that will start you off right by giving you a bird and a leather glove so that you can hunt with it. Well, I should say hunt and fish, of course. So we're going to go ahead and turn on that fishing plugin with rune light so that we can highlight all these circles. We're going to see the green circles colored and of course the blue circles colored. Along with this, I'm going to be tracking my fishing, hunter, and cooking XP on the screen the whole entire time so you guys can see the XP per hour during the course of this whole 10 hour. Since I am 99 fishing already and 97 hunter, I should be expecting at the maximum XP XP rate an hour, 62k fishing XP, and probably about 80k hunter XP since I'm not quite 99 yet. Now once I run out of king worms, I'm just going to be using the knife on all of the fish that I catch and I'll be making fish chunks, which will also grant me a little bit of cooking XP. It uh, doesn't really add up to much an hour, probably about 15 to 17k. On top of that though, I don't have to continue to pick up king worms, I'm simply creating my own bait. Before we continue with the video today, a new experience awaits you, that is watch Watcher of Realms. Watcher of Realms is a next generation fantasy RPG. It's time to enjoy a 360 degree real time battlefield by controlling amazing heroes on diverse maps in real time. Fall in love with the stunningly epic visuals, the rich and diversified strategic gameplay, and a unique hero collection and development system, and all the hack and slash carnage you can handle. Play Watcher of Realms now using the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen here. It's available on PC, Android, and iOS. In Watcher of Realms, a lot of convenient functions are made for players, like quick startup and quick equip. Players just need one click to upgrade and equip heroes and do not require any resources. Watcher of Realms also provides several game modes that contain exciting boss battles. You can fight with strong dragons and mighty stone men in different stages. Just utilize your heroes to defeat these powerful bosses and get abundant rewards. In Christmas events, Watcher of Realms will have a Christmas themed camp with special decorations. They also prepare a lot of exciting rewards for players. You can collect hero shards to get a powerful new legendary hero for free and you can also get free skin just through logging in daily through the Christmas events. Besides events, Watcher of Realms also launches a new faction with several powerful heroes called the Supreme Arbiters. There's also a new mode called Boss Rush where players need to defeat different strong bosses with a more strategic approach. Unlike most RPG games, Watcher of Realms will bring you a 360 degree real-time operation battlefield. In the stages, players can control amazing heroes with different characteristics on diverse maps in real time to block different enemies from the sky, land, and water. Also, check out the new Camp PK activities which many familiar game opinion leaders are also playing. In order to welcome Christmas, Watcher of Realms held a larger scale competition. Many well-known influencers form two camps to compete for rewards. Quickly choose the camp that you support to join and win team honors. The activity link is also in the description. Use my link in the description below to get started on Watcher of Realms right away or scan my QR code here. And remember, returning players can obtain a lot of rare resources and items, so keep that in mind. And a huge thank you to Watcher of Realms for sponsoring today's video. All right, so a little bit about aerial fishing. You do need a minimum of 35 hunter and 43 fishing to come here. And if you decide to, you know, start aerial fishing at the bare minimal levels, you will get about 18k fishing and 26k hunter XP per hour, which really isn't too bad at those levels. The only people that I ran into uh, were actually, I'd say, 80 plus fishing. Most of them were kind of on the higher end of the fishing levels. So I'm not too sure if this is a popular method for lower levels to train hunter and fishing up, but it certainly does come with its rewards. Uh, if you're not really interested in the XP here, then maybe you're going to be interested in the cosmetics. As you'll notice at the bottom of my inventory, I am accumulating Mulk Pearls. On average, you know, you can get anywhere from about 18 to 21 an hour if you're at 99 fishing and you're doing this somewhat efficiently. In my very first hour, I actually managed to get 18 pearls, but I think my best hour throughout this whole video was 21 pearls. They did have an update in 2019 that the rate of Mulk Pearls now scales based on your fish 
fishing and hunter level previously you could get them at a flat rate of one in a hundred but now it's dependent on that fishing level so looking at the first hour completed it looks like i averaged 60k fishing xp and 76k hunter as well as 16k cooking xp in the first hour since this was my first time ever doing aerial fishing i will say it was extremely click intensive but i really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun i'm 1 million xp away from 98 hunter so even though we're going to be doing this for 10 hours today i won't get a hunter level but i'll be very close to 98 which means uh 99 is just around the corner at this point as it goes for fishing it looks like i'll surpass 17 million fishing xp and uh yeah we might get like 160k cooking but nothing too crazy as it goes for that what i'm most excited about is spending my pearls and also hopefully obtaining the golden tench there is a 1 in 20,000 chance that you can receive this cosmetic equipable fish in place of a regular catch a 1 in 20k chance isn't that terrible considering i was getting over a thousand catches per hour so this now wraps up our second hour it looks like we got a little bit more xp this hour 1.3k more fishing xp and a little bit more hunter too so we are getting better that's good news uh, we're 3400 catches in so you can kind of tell that we're going to get over half the drop rate no matter what hopefully we're lucky enough to get that golden tinch in half the drop rate though since we're not going to be camping here for you know 20 hours during the course of this 10 hour i'm also going to be getting some clue bottles since this is fishing uh we've already completed one medium clue so far and hopefully we can obtain some more we're going to be saving all of the caskets for the end of the video this now wraps up our third hour though we're almost uh, at 60 milk pearls so we're almost averaging 20 an hour i think we got 18 the first hour 22 the second and now 17 on the third now i've been meaning to mention it but i keep on uh rambling so with these milk pearls you can actually purchase a pearl fishing rod for 100 milk pearls a pearl fly fishing rod for 120 and a pearl barbarian fishing rod for 150 here we are four hours in to the grind today so far still averaging 61k fishing xp and 79k hunter xp an hour and we managed to get 21 pearls that hour i think i'm going to be saving up my pearls for the normal pearl fishing rod mainly because i fish a lot of angler fish on the iron man so it would be nice to save an inventory space and have a nice cosmetic rod while i afk all the time and there's another medium clue we're going to go ahead and do that and stack our second casket of the video now along with the fishing rods you can also purchase angler with 100 pearls per piece but that's definitely not worth doing you're better off doing fishing trawler and you can of course buy the fish sack which is a thousand pearls that would take you i mean at a minimum I mean, 50 hours at least. So quite the grind that is. It's a nice collection log slot item, but it's just cosmetic. I mean, I think you can combine it with a fish barrel that you get from Temporos and you can store an extra 28 fish uh, on you instead of, you know, in your... Uh, fish barrel so it saves another inventory space and it extends your afking but using a thousand milk pearls on this sack is just not realistic today so i might look into that in the future taking a little bit of a break here at hour five halfway into the video doing a hard clue scroll nice to get one of those caskets instead of a medium this time so uh yeah we got actually a quick little back-to-back -back clue there this will make for the second hard clue and now we have two mediums on top of that and an easy so running out of inventory space but yeah we'll definitely save those towards the end it's going really well so far still averaging really good xp rates in both fishing and hunter pearl rates are pretty on point as well we're almost reaching 100 pearls and we're just a little bit over uh, five hours in so not too bad at all with the rates here it really excites me to try new things on runescape especially as it pertains to skilling you know i've always been a skiller at heart over pvming and pking i know that's hard to believe but uh yeah i absolutely love skilling especially on the iron man so trying out aerial fishing was one of those things on my bucket list that uh, i wanted to do for a 10 hour video for quite some time now uh, this along with so many other things like sorcerer's garden and giant's foundry volcanic mine as well as blast mine just a million different things in this game now uh, in 2023 that i want to be covering so i really hope you guys enjoy this experience uh, as much as i am as well because it comes with not only receiving a lot of xp and clue scrolls but also this awesome cosmetic fishing rod that i'm definitely going to be able to purchase at the end of this video and hopefully we can somehow manage to get that golden tench we are going to be a little bit far away from 
from the drop rate, but I don't know if you guys have seen that in game, the golden tench, but it's basically just this huge golden fish that is a cosmetic item that you can whack people with. You can actually right click people and whack them with it. So I really look forward to doing that soon because ladies and gentlemen, we got the golden tench. Almost exactly seven hours into the grind. So let's equip him and wow, look at that fish. That is absolutely incredible. One of the coolest things that I've ever acquired on the Iron Man, I would put this above almost anything I've acquired actually. And yeah, it took about 10,000 catches for this, 50% to the drop rate and we obtained it. Uh, I know this because anytime I receive a clue bottle, uh, I'm alerted on how many catches that I've done. Other than this, my catches don't show with the fishing plugin, but being seven hours in and still averaging um, almost 62K fishing XP an hour. So we are, you know, gradually getting better and I'm also receiving all these clues as well as the golden tench. We now also have enough pearls to purchase that amazing uh, fishing rod. So this is just going absolutely incredible and I, I could not be happier with the results so far. And it's really easy to continue to do aerial fishing. All I do is I just prioritize the green circles and as soon as they're all gone, I quickly switch to the blue circles. But other than that, I'm just spam clicking the fish with my knife, spam clicking each circle, uh, primarily whatever the circle is that's closest to me. That's the one that I'm going to be clicking on first. And of course, always clicking on the green ones first just because they're green, not blue. So yeah, I wish I had better reasoning there. Look at this golden tension action. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to fight that barbarian, but yeah, it's really awesome. Anyway, another hard clue completed, another whack completed as well on that random guy. And with that being said, 17 million fishing XP has been obtained. We're at 170 pearls now, still averaging great XP rates, and we just have one hour left to go in this 10 hour grind. Really glad that I tried this out. This was a lot of fun. I have no regrets about doing this. Uh, it did take about two days to do because uh, the, just the clicking is very intense. So I had two five hour sessions and the clue scrolls made for good breaks on the hands. So that's always a good thing to keep in mind. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, 10 hours of aerial fishing has been completed. Looks like I gained a total of 620k fishing XP, 797k hunter and 164k cooking. On top of all that, I got 203 mulk pearls. I got the golden tench around 10,000 catches, 50% of the drop rate and and uh, now we have a lot of clue scrolls to open after we purchase our rod. Let's go ahead and get that pearl fishing rod, leaving us with 100 pearls. Uh, definitely going to be coming back here in the future to uh, purchase the other rods. Probably the far future, though. And it looks awesome. I actually fished uh, 700 anglerfish today with it, but... You can't beat that golden tench. Just look at that thing. Anyway, let's open up this clue scroll. Easy clue had nothing in it. What a surprise. Now it's uh, time for the mediums. First one, pretty average. The second one, nothing but alkables. And the same goes for the third. Well, maybe we saved the best for last. Let's open up this hard clue. Very nice reward there. Armadol Bracers, uh, nice collection log slot, 323k, 68k from the second hard clue. And from the final one, 113k with another collection log, 600k from the clues, a ton of fishing hunter and cooking xp we got the golden tench we got the pearl fishing rod ladies and gentlemen we did it all thank you so much for watching today if you want to help support the channel further feel free to download our sponsor watcher of realms it goes a long way and a huge thank you to the youtube channel members with a special shout out to angels blood deception z x exotic x and necro fear till next time mr no sleep out